Guten Tag, bonjour, hola, moi moi, good day, howdy, uh, salamat datang, sabadi. <laughs> it's me, Table, and welcome to an episode of Robocraft. And here we are talking about beginning, beginner vehicles, entry level vehicles to Robocraft, and we're doing a slightly more complex one. Hovercraft. Now, hovercraft can be a bit temperamental. Oh, I'm going to need to buy some more scores. Hovercraft, because the thing with hovercraft is, like, if you're a tank or you're a buggy, there's a certain amount of survivability. You can sort of get away on, on wheels and stuff. Well, no, it's kind of the same for hovers. If you take too much damage to a hover, you tend to dip down and go all wobbly, and it can be a real nightmare to try and get yourself out of trouble. But as a hover, your priorities are different. Uh, because you are, you do tend to be lighter. Let's see. So we want two hover pads in there. Uh, so we had, so we had four tank treads and eight wheels on the beginning vehicles. So with hovers, you should really go for eight, eight hovers if you can. Well, have a look. Let's try. Now you're gonna be, you're gonna be lighter. Hmm. Right. First things first. Don't do this and put all your hovers quite narrow down. You need to space them out. Uh, because you do need a bit of width with your hovercraft to give you that stability. Uh, it's not so apparent in the lower tiers, but in the higher tiers, it can become a bit of an issue. Another problem that you're going to have is uh, you're going hit, to get hit in the front a lot. You're going to get shot in the face uh, a lot. Common full stop to raise in now, by the way. Um, so you need that survivability as well. So two, four, six. Do you know what? I am liking what I'm doing here with this design, with this staggered section. So we're going to do the same there. That's... That, I feel, is our hovercraft positioning. Now, with the front, uh, you are lighter, so I would suggest investing in electroplates, personally. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some electroplates on the front. There's some tier one, tier one electroplates going on. There we go. So we're just going to go... I'm assuming that you get electroplates in tier one, so we're not going to start with that. Okay, tip for hovers. Enclose them. You can do this with your prisms, and you can add additional armor around your hover pad. And you can go like this, and like so, and then you can do that, and then remove that and put that on there. You see that? So you add some to, to remove some. You can go like this. Oh no, you wait, this bit you have to go block over. You see what I'm doing there? So you can enclose, fully enclose your hover pads if you so choose, and well, we are in this case. Another thing you need to consider is that your hover needs to be heavier at the bottom than it is at the top. Otherwise, you will always uh, have troubles and you will flip uh, often. So you have to avoid that. So we're going to do this. Now, it's making for quite a large hovercraft in closing those bits. Uh, also, we don't have, we need a little bit more weight underneath so that it doesn't just flip. So this bit I'm putting on is simply uh, to bolster the weight underneath. So I'm gonna make that a block. And also, what's also going on is we're starting to get a feel for how the, the hover's gonna look. We can go out one there, and we can do this and that. And you can see the character coming in. I love it, I love it. You can just start seeing it come to life. Let's put another prism there. In the interest of having some weight on the bottom, let's put that in there. Okay. Uh, uh, right, so we can't... Hmm. So we're going to fully enclose that bit. Now, for everything you put on the top, you need to put some on the bottom. So let's just add some more weight. There we go. And then we start, need to start thinking about this front section as well. Hmm. I might just bring blocks all the way up for there. Which I can't. I can there. Okay. So this is quite a heavy-duty hover so far. Quite a lot of armor. Uh, there we go. And then what we're going to do is maybe. Hmm. I like the idea of that. Okay, let's do that. Uh, bring this in one. What are we on? Two ninety nine. We might be coming to the end, really. So it's very box like. Very box like. Hmm. <laughs> it's such a box. We need to change this front bit a little bit. Give it a little bit of character. Like I want to give you some pointers, but at the same time, we do want it to look good. 
So let's do that. There we go, that's a little better. And we can do the same there, which means it will house in the hover pads. Ah, oh, that's happening, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> now we're talking, that looks awesome. So awesome, in fact, that I'm gonna repeat the process down here as well. So we're gonna go prism, prism, uh, yeah. Oh, they're not called prisms now, are they? What are they called, slanties, triangles? Edges. <laughs> okay, that wasn't going to go. What a slanty. That's not a shape. <laughs> right. So we have our enclosed hover. Uh, we also have some issues with the looks of it. So we're going to do that. Hmm. You know what? I'm all right with that. That is hovery. We could enclose those top bits. You're susceptible to air fire. Uh, I'm going to reduce that as well. I'm going to go ahead and do this. In the interests of good lookingness, that feels like it can become a inner. No. There we go. That's a lot better. And the back and the front look different as well. But I just want to increase that difference just by doing this. Just a little bit of extra character, you know? Nothing too major, just a little bit. Good, right, so we've got our hover pads in, got our armor, 333 robot ranking, so I guess we're not gonna get uh, additional armor on top of those ho hovers, which is fine. Let's arm up. Now we can have some fun with plasmas with this thing, so we're gonna go uh, two, hmm. Oh, we can get two there, awesome. In fact, that means I can push that out. Um, and then we need two more. Ah, okay, so this does become a thing. So I'm gonna go like that. Uh, I'm gonna push that across. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the plasmas on there. Bingo, plasma hover. Oh man, looks good. I like it. Right, uh, glass. We do need some glass. So what I'm gonna do is put a block here and a block there. And then we're gonna put a prism there. So I have inadvertently protected the, those hovers. You could even do that, really, but it's quite a lot to put on the back. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know. Let's go cosmetic. Glass. Beep. Boop, boop, boop. Done. The hovers at the front exposed is a kind of an issue. I, even so, I'm going to I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it forward one. And put the glass there. Oh, do you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way out. I'm gonna go all the way across and do that. Yeah, hover, woo woo. Okay, so that's it, hovercraft. Plasma hovercraft, done. Beginning, beginner. Robot ranking 691. It might be a bit high. If it is, trim off these bits on the edges and you can you can reduce it. I got carried away with the armor, but for me, that's a very nice little start of hover. If it's too high in ranking, you know, let me know. Uh, but I, I, you know, I'd be happy to take that into a battle, and I will. So, I'm with table. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon on another video. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Stay charming also. <laughs>